have to tell you about something that I'm very excited about. Recently, a dream came true for me. I became the owner of a professional sports team. In fact, I'm now a part owner of an NFL team. I'm super excited. In fact, if you don't believe me, let me show you. This right here is exactly one share of the Green Bay Packers. Green Bay Packers Inc. and I am one of the owners. Now, there are a lot of people that own shares and only one share doesn't feel like a lot and it's probably not. But it's super cool to say that I own a part of the Green Bay Packers now. I was so excited a few months ago when I was able to purchase this share. I've already been invited to the shareholders meeting at Lambeau Field in July. One year, I'm actually gonna go. I'm pretty excited about it. But as I began to own this team, I began to realize that while uh, I, I liked the Packers before, I wasn't really a fan of them, but then I became an owner. And when I became an owner, my mindset shifted. I began to check on the scores, cheer differently, check in on the players and the roster. My boys would run in and tell me about news that was coming out of Green Bay. Why do I tell you all this and how does this relate to leadership? Because our job as leaders is to move people from simply being a spectator or a fan to actually being an owner. The best leaders that I know are those that get people involved, not because they're supposed to follow the leader, but because they feel a sense of ownership of the vision as well. So leaders, whatever you do, do what it takes to move people to becoming shareholders and owners of the vision. So it's not just you and your vision and they're following. It's our vision together and we're moving together toward whatever goal or vision or mission that we're after. Move people from fans to shareholders and owners and see what happens to the vision.